Hi, this is Dr. Melissa Chotel, also known as the Aligner Bee, and I'm here at the IDS meeting in Cologne, Germany. So as I'm walking around, I'm always looking for new innovations and things that I can bring back to my practice with me, always looking for the latest and the cutting edge. As I continue to work in the aligner space, one of the things that I've noticed is the concern that myself and many of my colleagues have for the amount that we are 3D printing and vacuum forming and all of the extra materials that we're putting into landfills and increasing our carbon footprints. Many of us have tried to reduce this over the years, but it's difficult to avoid having to print models and thermoform. As I was walking around here at the meeting, I came to the GT booth and I found out that there is a new plant-based compostable material. So I've invited Mark Ginsberg, one of the founders of the company, here to talk with us today and to explain a little bit about their plant-based thermoforming material. So Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. If you could explain a little bit about this material and how it's making an impact environmentally and what we can look to for the future as well as we try to help the environment with our dental practices. Absolutely. First of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you for you. coming by the booth. Um, a bit of a background on our company, Good Fit Technologies. We are a polymer company focused primarily historically on standard plastics. And, you know, we the types of products that we sold before getting into the aligner space with our GT Flex aligner plastics sold a lot but didn't have tonnage of volume you know so frankly speaking even though we were putting plastics out into the world we weren't aware of the amount of the impact we were having uh, until we started selling aligner materials and they started selling a lot and we I remember the moment the first time I got an order of our aligner material in roll format and they ordered it by the kilometer and I thought to myself okay I'm part of a problem here. Uh, it's a necessary evil right now in the industry, uh, but that's no excuse to not try to address it. So we looked around and thought, well, as you were saying, there's you know there's the models, and we we do have some model resins that are degradable but not biodegradable. So we tried to make them easier to incorporate into recycling programs, but that wasn't enough really. Uh, and we looked back at the aligner sheet material itself and saw in the food industry, you know, there's an established uh, product line of materials that look like plastics, but that are all plant-based uh, and degradable. And we thought to ourselves, well, if they can do that, and if it looks clear, maybe, maybe we can make aligner materials based very roughly off that concept. Now, the mechanical properties for an aligner material are very different from those those materials. So that was the, the production challenge. And so we reached out to the, the producers of the types of plant-based materials that are used in these plastic-looking uh, products for, oh, I don't know, it's about 18 months. The conversations are hilarious that we have with these people. They don't know why we want to order the most obscure component and what we're doing with it, but it's to achieve the mechanical properties that are needed to move teeth. Uh, which we know well from our experience with the aligner materials. And so after quite a bit of work and hundreds of formulations, we, we came upon sort of a family of formulas that, that did what we needed them to do. Uh, and so, you know, here is, here is our example here at the show. This is, looks like an aligner material, but uh, it looks like a plastic, but there is no plastic in this at all. So there is no plastic material in this? There is zero plastic material in it. It's 100% plant-based. Now, before you ask which plants, uh, that is proprietary. So we just like to say it, we, it's like making a salad. We have a lot of different plants in there uh, and plant-based materials. But in the end, it is 100% plant-based material, and it's rated for 100% composting. So. Uh, you know, so we could put this on our regular composting heap that we put our banana peels or um, any of our vegetable waste from our kitchens in? So we initially targeted that, uh, and we can make it to work that way. 
but we needed it to have at least some durability in the mouth environment, which you would imagine is the perfect place to begin a biodegrading process. Uh, so in order to do that, we had to come up with a formula that is biodegradable or compostable under industrial composting or municipal composting, which is still straightforward. You, you put this in the, the green composting bin, it goes to the industrial facility and they need to put it through, they need to initiate the composting by heating it up and adding some moisture to it. And then from that point, which we have certified, uh, you have, it must turn completely to dirt within 180 days. And that's what it does. So, so that's within 180 days, this can break down into dirt, organic material. Organic material and, and um, 180 days after intentionally starting that process. So, so that's the story. Excellent. So if we put this in our regular green composting bin that's picked up by the city from our offices, this will go to a facility for biodegrading. Right, exactly. Okay. So now perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the mechanical properties in relationship to some of the GT materials that some of the doctors watching are already using within their offices and within their laboratories. Sure, absolutely. So. It's interesting, it's sort of a different cut because it is a completely different base material. But the two GT Flex materials that have been out there for some time, I don't know if you can see this, are our GT Flex Original and our GT Flex Pro. The difference between these materials is, you know, GT Flex Original is a quality sort of starter material um, in terms of flexibility and, and strength and those, and those key characteristics. Going from GT Flex Original to GT Flex Pro, there's a 10 times increase in strength and an increase in flexibility. And then jumping from our GT Flex Original to our new GT Flex Max, which we can talk about if you'd like to, there's a jump of 50 times in strength and yet more flexibility. So that's the context of our, these are our traditional plastic materials for our liners. The GT Flex Green material falls right around here in strength and right around here in flexibility. So you see it, it's kind of a different cut on mechanical properties, but very much in the range of the target properties for aligners and, and we hope retainers. Um, the other comment I will make, which I've, I've mentioned several times, GT Flex Green is not a, a material, just as we have multiple versions of our plastics, I fully expect we will have multiple versions of the of the green material with different flexibility characteristics if you want enhanced flexibility for certain types of cases um, maybe different durability but it's already very strong um, so those kinds of things now does this come in a variety of thicknesses or sizes for our doctors with different thermoforming units at home we make it in any of the dimensions that are required for you know the classic 120 125 and uh millimeter sizes whatever or rolls we make it in rolls as well there's a really cool new machine from Shoy that has a long sheet that is that that does four at a time which which i had i had the opportunity to check that out earlier today don't worry stay tuned for more on that uh and you're welcome Shoy. And um, uh, so, yeah, we make it in all the formats. The thickness is uh, to be determined. If, you know, thickness is, is a crutch that's used to give you additional strength if you need it or additional stiffness if you need it. Uh, we, but, you know, when you make a material thicker, you're increasing the vertical, you, you decrease comfort. Worst case, you could introduce TMJ issues, particularly with retainers. So our goal is to have and I believe we will have uh, a thin version, uh, you know, a 0 0.76, maybe even a 0 0.6. Don't, don't say I told you that. That is strong enough for retention. Well, don't worry, Mark. Your secrets are safe with myself and everyone watching the video, I'm sure. So, excellent. Well, it's incredible to be here at the GT booth and to have the opportunity to speak with Mark. It's amazing to see a company that is truly caring about the environment and moving forward with biocompatible materials that are compostable and are helping to save our environment. As we all try to reduce our 
our carbon footprint. I'm sure we'll be on the lookout for new and other inventive materials coming into the marketplace. But my applause to GT for bringing out a biocompatible, biocompostable material. For more from IDS in Cologne, Germany, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Alinerbee.